So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can open a new browser window from JavaScript. I'll show you how you can open it as a new tab or as a brand new window instance and how the new window can either open a URL or contain your own custom HTML content. So to demonstrate this, I've created a HTML document with an open and close button and also a div where I can write some output to and this is linked to script.js and in script.js I'm selecting those buttons and adding an event listener to each one and when these buttons are clicked the function linked to each button will run. So let's start with a simple example. If you want to open a new window in JavaScript the method you're looking for is open and it's available on the global window object. Now, if you want to open a URL, all you need to do is pass it in as a string in the first position. So in this example, I'm going to open google.com and this is going to open it by default in a new tab. I'll show you how to change that behavior in a moment. So I click open and Google opens in a new tab. Now in the second position, I can specify the opening behavior and it accepts the same values as a link in HTML in the target attribute. So those are blank, which means it's going to open a new window. You can also use self, meaning it's going to replace the window that's opening it. You also have available to you parent in case you're using iframes and you want it to open in the parent window. Or again, if you're using iframes and you want to make sure it loads in the top window, you can use top. Now, unless you're using iframes, you're probably fine with the default behavior of blank here. So you can either, if you want to be explicit, enter blank, or you can just enter an empty string and it's going to default to the blank behavior. Now, completely optionally, I could enter a reference name for the window here, like Google window. Now, it's important to understand that this does not become the HTML title of the new window. And it also doesn't save a reference to the window under this name in JavaScript. It simply sets this as the value of the name property of the new window. So this isn't something that is necessary, but it may be something that you want to include. So next in the third position, we can specify whether we want the new window to open as a new tab or as a pop-up. So at the moment it's opening as a new tab. So if we're happy with that, we don't need to specify anything in the third position, but if we want it to be a pop-up, you can just enter as a string pop-up. So now when I click open in the browser, you'll see that it opens in a brand new window, not as a new tab. Now, if you like, you can specify the dimensions and position of this new window. So the way that you do that is in the third position, you can specify width, you can also specify height and left and top to specify how far it should be from the top and the left of the screen. So I'm going to create a new window of width 400. I'm going to make the height also 400 and I can also set for position how far it is from the left of the screen and from the right of the screen. So I'm going to set it 200 pixels from the left and 200 pixels from the top. So now when I return to my browser, it's going to open a new window of the given dimensions and in the position I specify. Now, before moving on to how to insert your own custom content into the window, let's take a look at how we can close the window that we've just opened using JavaScript. So the way that we do this is using the close method, which is available on window objects. So we can call close on the global window object so this is not going to give us the behavior we want. This is going to close the main browser window, not the one we just opened. So if I head over to the browser, refresh and click close, you see that it closes the browser window entirely. So what I want to do is create a reference to the window that I open and then close that. So the way that I'm going to code that is I'm going to create a new global variable. I'll call it new window and I'm going to assign a reference to the new window inside it. So, so when this event listener is triggered, I'm going to assign the value of the newly open window to new window. Now, when the close button is clicked, what I'm going to do is call close, not on the main window this time, but on new window. So the window that I just opened. So now if I head back to the browser and click open, 
this will open the new window with Google. And if I click the close button, it's now closing the new window instance. Now let's take a look at how you can open a window containing your own custom HTML content. So now instead of entering a URL in the first position, leave this blank and it's going to open a completely blank new open window. And I'm going to give this a reference of new window. And I'm going to leave the dimensions and positions as they are in the third positions. Now, if I save this and head over to the browser, so I'm going to refresh, click open, and it's going to open a completely blank new open window. Now I have access to the contents of this new window through the new window reference that I created earlier in JavaScript. So what I'm going to do is log back to the console so we can see what this new window object looks like. Okay, so if I save that and now head back to the browser, refresh and open. So that's opening the new window. Now in the console log, I'll see the new window object. Now, if we take a look inside this new window object, you'll see that it's just like the main window object, but it's referring to this new window that we've opened. It's got the same functionality and information stored on it. It also has stored on it under the property name, the reference name that we gave to this new window when we created it, which is new window. And you can access that in JavaScript by calling new window dot name. Now, because there's a new window object, there's also a new document object attached to it. And inside the document object is the body of the document. So just like we modify the DOM in the main window, we can access it in the new window by accessing mywindow.body. So as an example, I've prepared a HTML document already that we can write to the new window that is in resources. So I'm going to copy and paste all of this HTML and inside script.js, I'm going to write this HTML to the new window inside template literal syntax. So there's no unwanted escapes. So I can do that by accessing the new window. Now inside of there, I want to access the document object and I want to write to the body on the inner HTML of the body to be the HTML that I've created. So open back tick so there's no unwanted escapes, paste the HTML in there. And now if I go to the browser and open the window, you'll see that that HTML is now being rendered in the new window. And now you can access all the elements on this window and add event listeners or manipulate the DOM, whatever you want to do. So back in script.js, what I want to do is add an event listener that's listening out for a submit event on this form in the new window. So first of all, I want to reference the new window and I want to access the document and I have available to me all the methods that I would usually have in the main window. So I can use get element by ID. The form has an ID of form. So that's what I'll enter. And then I'm going to save that in a new variable called form. So I'm going to add an event listener to the form and I'm going to be listening out for a submit event on the form. And when the form is submitted, I'm going to run the following function. Now, what I'm going to do is check the value of username and password that the user has input. So the way that I do that is with an if statement, I can say form.username.value. I'm going to check if the username value is test, and I'm going to check do the same check, but for the password, and I want to see if that's test as well. So I can just copy and paste that changing username. That should be password. Now, if this is true, so if the user enters the correct username and password, then what I want to do is write a message in the main document saying that the login was successful. So I already created a div with an ID of output in the main document. So I can access that in the normal way using get element by ID. And then I'm going to set the text content to login successful. So this covers the outcome where the user enters the correct username and password. If not, then I'm also going to write a message to the main document, but this one will say login failed. 
and either way I want to close the new window after the user has made a login attempt so I can do that by calling the close method on the new window object now let's see how this looks in the browser so I save script.js refresh now when I click the open button I get the form now I'm going to enter the correct details in here so it's test and test and hopefully this is then going to write a message to the main document letting me know that the login was successful if I enter the wrong details then it should say login failed so this example shows you not just how you can open a new window in JavaScript with HTML content in it, but also how you can access and manipulate it in the same way as you do the main document through the document object that's attached to the new window. So that is it for this tutorial. I hope you found it useful. And if you did, please consider clicking the like button down below. And if you'd like to see more content like this from us in the future, don't forget to subscribe to the channel.